I entered a state prison recently. I was not entering the jail as a resident, but rather as a guest. The warden had invited me to tour the facility. Not sure what to expect, I was highly engaged as I passed through security and walked through the first locked door. But when I entered a cell block pod and heard the door slam behind me, it all became very real. The pod that I was being shown at the time was a faith-based or opt-in pod. Inside were rows upon rows of bunk beds. 48 prisoners in all were living in this space. A waist-high wall separated the living area from the showers, toilets, and sinks. There was what looked to be a small 19-inch television on the wall. There were lots of people in a relatively small area. It felt confining. The warden asked if someone would tell me about the facility, the pod, and what life was like. An inmate named Shane stepped forward and volunteered to share with us. Shane said that he had been married for 18 years, but was now divorced. He had owned a large trucking business and at one time had 450 employees. Shane said he had made a mistake, a bad decision, and that's why he was in prison. Shane also shared that he felt that being in prison was an opportunity to change, to get better. He was emotional as he expressed this and he was thankful for being there and what he was experiencing. He was discovering his faith and gaining clarity about how he wanted to live his life and what he believed. It was a powerful moment. Shane was being a courageous leader. He stepped up to talk. The first characteristic of leadership is to step up. He did that and he did it great. Shane was courageous and transparent. He shared openly about his past, his mistakes, and what he believed. He took responsibility for his actions. He sought to get better. He showed his repentance. He showed his remorse. He showed gratefulness for the opportunity to be in the faith-based pod program. All of this happened in five minutes. It is easy to expect a certain type of person to be in prison. It is easy to characterize prisoners by race or socioeconomic status. This well-spoken man shattered what would be the expectation of many people. Shane taught me a lot, and that is what leaders do. Leaders are always teaching. They do not necessarily set out to teach, but they do. Every single time you are with them. Shane taught me that the courage it takes to step up, admit your faults, and not hide behind false pretenses is the courage that will propel you forward as a person and as a leader. People want to follow courageous leaders. Shane proves that leadership is not positional. Inmate is not a direct connection to leadership on any organizational chart. I had myths and stereotypes about what type of person uh, might be in a prison. I was wrong. People make mistakes. We all do. What assumptions about people may be holding you back? Do you inspire the people around you? Are you being a courageous leader?